Judith Mottram. I'm the Professor of Visual Arts. And as well as doing my own research in various areas, I'm leader of the Visual Arts Research Group and director of the Lanchester Gallery. What makes me tick is, is how things work. Um, and in, in the field of the visual arts, that's really about what makes one artwork successful and others not. It's also about what success might mean and to whom. I've also become interested in what we, what we know about making art. What are the conditions for creativity in this field? And what's special and what's particular to the knowledge or skills that artists have that enable them to make things that move us in the way that they do? What's different about the work I do is that I'm quite happy to use the approaches and methods from a wide variety of disciplines um, to address the sort of questions that I'm interested in looking at. And this is something that's not that usual within the visual arts field. So I'm quite happy to, um, to count things, you know, to look at statistics and to look at modelling that way um, and to think about using corpus analysis, uh, corpus linguistic tools to look at the texts within our fields. The Visual Arts Research Group at Coventry covers rather more than what I'm doing. We've got colleagues working in painting and the recognition they've been getting is fantastic. Devane was the uh, second prize winner in the BP Portrait Award in 2013. A new area for us where we're pushing practice is in relation to fashion design where Muirhead is looking at innovative textiles and technology future gazing to address work where health scenarios and counterfeiting, so really quite important topical issues. Our underpinning research question is really about how technologies and subject knowledge stimulate aesthetic and conceptual innovation and its analysis. And we've got forward plans which include an extension of methods to include things like eye tracking technology and talk aloud protocols um, alongside the interview based and linguistic analyses um, for more directed scrutiny of studio practice. The impact really of the work of the Visual Arts Research Group is in two main areas. Uh, one is the level of innovation of new things going out into the world. It's, it's, the, it's the paintings, it's the sculptures, it's the new design work which is actually going out there and is trying to do new things in new ways. That's part of it, but on the other side we've also got the work that we've been doing to actually help people understand the processes by which those products come into being. 